Hello, good evening, and here you are. As you know, I am Tessa Marie, and I am a woman on a mission. I desire to help you live a fulfilled life. And one thing I know for sure is that I do not have all the answers, but I can hear, help you find some of the answers for yourself. So this is what I am here to do. I am here to reach you, just you. Not one billion of you, just you, you who are here right now. I am here to teach you how to live a fulfilled life. So fulfillment in life is not something you find. It's not something you will go and you look in there and there it is. No. Fulfillment, fulfillment in life is something you create. You create it by wanting better. You create it by having somebody who is supportive of you. You create it by knowing for sure that you have the ability within you to create the life you desire. A fulfilled life is something you create and you can create it using the five pillars of prosperity. Those five pillars speak for themselves. When you hear the names, you realize they are needed. They are needed to help me reach where I would like to go. Mental prosperity. That means I'm ready to take on the world and hearing things, recalling things is not going to affect me. Physical prosperity. I know I can do better and I'm making myself do better. Spiritual prosperity. There's something I believe in that's bigger and greater than me. Financial prosperity, my ability to earn money to live part of my life properly. And emotional prosperity, how I respond to the information that I hear or that is told to me. So this is what happened at the Tessamari show with the five pillars of prosperity. You will realize you're not going to find it under the bed. You're not going to find a fulfilled life is not something you will find in, in somebody else's space. Is not something somebody will say, here you are, this is your ticket to a fulfilled life. No. A fulfilled life is something you must create. And I know you can create it with the five pillars of prosperity. So for example, when you wake up in the morning, plan to be prosperous. You must plan it. You cannot wake up in the morning and do not have a plan for prosperity. You must, when you wake up in the morning, know that you have to prepare yourself to be prosperous. You can do that if you know how to tap in and use the five pillars of prosperity as your guide. The five pillars of prosperity has been my guide. My dad for over 40 years, I have applied those principles to my life. And I have been living a fulfilled life. A life where I own my own home, actually more than 40 years. I drive a car of my choice. I go on several vacations a year and I live debt free. But that didn't just happen because I decided it to. That was part of it, but I needed to find a way to live a fulfilled life and I chose to go through the five pillars of prosperity. And this is what I am here to teach you, to encourage you to embrace the five pillars of prosperity, to understand the true meaning of each of the pillars and how they come together to create a fulfilled life for you, the life you choose. So the five pillars of prosperity and you is the series we are doing for this week. So far, we have done the pillar of emotional prosperity last night. And tonight we're doing the pillar of physical prosperity and you. The one thing that I know for sure, not having all the answers, cannot give you all the answers, but help you, encourage you, enlighten you to seek the answers and help you find some of the answers you need so that you too can live that fulfilled life. Implementing the five pillars of prosperity into your life is like getting a new script for your life. 
getting new directions for your life. It's getting to, to getting certain things in your life which will drastically and dramatically change your life. To the point where you will not even realize that your life has taken that turn. It will happen so swiftly and so calmly without no fuss, no stress, nothing. Just that wonderful feeling of wow. So that is what it is to live a fulfilled life. Then and only then will you look at the journey slightly and say, hmm, when did the change begin? What did I do? One of the things you will remember for sure is choosing to press the button for the testimony show at 7 p.m. Monday to Friday. Choosing to listen. Then choosing to take one thing from each day, knowing that one particular thing that was said tonight was said just for you, not for a billion of you. There is no way the testimony show is going to satisfy every need of every human being on this planet. But what I know for sure, it will satisfy one of your needs. It will propel you to grandeur. It will propel you to success. It will propel you to hold on and to keep moving in the direction of your desire. It will help you sort out yourself. One of the things you're going to notice once you have grasped those five pillars, you will notice the moment you begin living your life with the five pillars of prosperity as your guide. You're going to, the moment you decide, I'm going to live those, my life that way. I'm going to work on it that way. I'm going to choose to live my life that way. The moment you make that commitment to pick up the script from the five pillars of prosperity and align it with your life and live your life through it, you will notice some changes. Your life will then look a little different. The five pillars of prosperity being your guide that you, your relationship and your love life will change. Not, uh, not only your relationships with your lover or your husband, but your relationships with others will change. And of course, that will transfer to a more intimate relationship with others. That's what the five pillars of prosperity will do for you. It's almost like you're going to be sitting on the top of a mountain with a temperature that's quite cool, really relaxed atmosphere, comfort, to the part that even if you are afraid of height, you will not feel frightened of being on the top of that mountain of success. You'll sit and you will find that you're actually even moving your legs like this, you're so comfortable. You will inhale the air at the top. You will survey your surroundings with your eye. You will take in the atmosphere with your senses and you will feel fulfilled. This is what the five pillars of prosperity will do for you. Because it begins with relationship changes. When you start living emotionally prosperous, physically prosperous, mentally prosperous, spiritually prosperous, and financially prosperous, you're going to attract the like-minded people. You'll, you will meet people that are on that road. They're already on the path. They might be ahead of you. And the moment they hear your footstep, they're going to turn back and say, I'll wait for you. Follow me. I will take you on the journey to success. That is what will happen to you. The moment you leave those low energy dragging people behind you, or you split on that path, you leave the herd and you decide that I am going to blaze my trail by embracing the five pillars of prosperity. There isn't one person that will be able to stop you. As a matter of fact, those waiting for you to join them on that path will be numerous. They won't only put you at the end of the, path, of, the, of the group. There will be some that will push you towards the middle of the group so you can shine even higher. That's what embracing the five pillars of prosperity will do for you. 
you see, because you are changing and becoming more responsive to others, that others in turn will change and become more responsive to you. You won't be alone. You might start off thinking you're alone because you've left the herd. It might be frightening. You have changed your paradigm. You have lift your energy much higher than the others in the herd. And for that, you will be uncomfortable. The herd won't feel like home anymore. You will have conversation with them, but it will be very superficial because they are still superficial. They want to drag you back to what was, the things you spoke about, the actions you took with them, the behaviors you had with them. So your physical prosperity is going to change because you are on a different trajectory. The people on that path take care of physical health really well. That's why they're on a path. That's why they're choosing to be with those that are like them. You see, physical prosperity is only one of those pillars. But the entire idea is to embrace all five. And as you embrace all five, you will become a changed human being. And once you are changing, you will be smitten others that are looking for you. Some might say, where have you been? We know that you're supposed to be with us. What took you so long? As I said, when they hear your footstep coming, or you're jogging or running to catch up with them. They won't run away from you. That's the job of those that are in the bad space, in the low energy. They will stop and say, don't rush. We are here for you. We will support you. The physical prosperity person that wants to see you get physically stronger by maybe vitamins, exercise, drinking water, watching your health, making sure that you, you stimulate yourself to the point you sweat. And as you sweat, your glands are releasing what is not right and taking in what is right to stimulate you. The pillars of prosperity, once they're part of you, your career will begin to change. That's for sure. That I know for sure. The moment I embrace the five pillars of prosperity, my career changed. The trajectory changed. My needs, my desires became stronger. Others stopped to help me. While I'm trying to take each rung of the ladder, somebody reached back and gave me a rope and said, come on, Tessa Marie, grab it. I have your back. I have you. I'm going to pull you up with me. Why? Because I had embraced the five pillars of prosperity. I did not see anybody as a competition. I did not see anybody as going to take it all from me if I am with them. I opened up and accept and I opened up and I gave. So even somebody was doing the very same thing I was doing, they did not become a, compet a competitor. Because what I knew for sure, because of the five pillars of prosperity, is that there is enough for all of us. There is always enough. Whatever it is we seek is renewable. There is no shortage of success. There is no shortage of prosperity. There is no shortage of saying there is not enough. There is always enough. When your career begins to change, you will be more aware of the things that you should do to enhance your career. That is what the pillars put together do, does. That is why the pillars, I bring them up in that little group. Once you take this, your finances will also begin to be important to you. Up until you embrace the five pillars of prosperity, your finances is, uh, you, don't, you, you don't admire it. You don't admire it. Your attitude towards money and your time will also make a 180 change. You will begin to understand that money and time go hand in hand. 
That's what a complete thing of the power of the five pillars do. That's one of the, that's how you're going to feel at the end of the journey of conquering, mastering, accepting, acknowledging, and taking in the five pillars of prosperity. You will feel differently. You will never be hot or harassed. You won't be able to tolerate bombastic personalities. You won't be able to tolerate those that think that they only have the answer and they are the best and nobody else matters. You won't be able to tolerate those that have negative vibes and negative energies day in and day out. You will not be able to tolerate those who pick up what they didn't put down. You will not be able to tolerate those who cannot share or who are afraid of sharing and holding it to their chest, whether it chokes them or not. You will not hate them, but you will find yourself having an excuse not to be with them. You will never be entangled like this with them. You'll never be comfortable in their, in their air, breathing the air that they breathe. You will have to shake them off at the end of the day when you come in contact with them. Let them go. Shake them off your body. Shake them off your spiritual vibration. That's what will happen to you when you fully embrace the five pillars. But tonight, Tonight is the pillar of physical prosperity. I wanted to bring that, what I just talked to you about, about those pillars, before I dwell, delve into the pillar of physical health, physical prosperity. When your physical prosperity is at, at the top, you will change. You're going to change. Your body will feel like, like it is lubricated. You will be energized. You might wake up in the morning and you might feel a little tight because you have been lying in a position for eight hours or seven hours or so. When you first wake up, you're going to feel a little bit sore here, tight there. But the minute you begin to stimulate that body by some stretches, some exercises, some jogging in place, drinking some water, inhaling so here, taking some deep breaths, you will be more aware of your body. You will start realizing without this body, you do not exist. You will start to realize that every limb has its place and every limb is helping you become the magnificent you. You might be so into it that you will actually feel the pumping of the blood going through your heart. You will feel it. And you will hear your breath. You will actually hear the depths of your breath. Because your physical prosperity is so in tune. It's like a well-run oiled engine. Every day you will feel like a brand new engine. A brand new car. It does not take hours and hours and hours of work to do that. It just takes time. It takes putting in the effort, realizing that your physical prosperity is, a, is, is just something that must be done. You will be more aware of how you feel and how it has been assisting you on your journey through life. You will for the first time realize, oh my goodness, those legs have been going for 55 years. Those legs have been hitting me since, for, since I was a child for 40 years. I watched my granddaughter fly through down the hallway at 90 miles an hour, I swear. And she tells you I'm running fast. She doesn't know yet that she's just thinking, I want to run. And you know what is even more magically and actually sad? Most of us do not even are not even as more aware than that child is. We run, we walk, we abuse that, those legs, and then we don't realize that they're still going because we just kind of think to take a step. We don't even think to take a step. We think of where we have to go and it goes. So when you're physically in tune and the five pillars are working for you, you are going to be more aware of how 
it has been assisting you through your journey through life through your life journey you are going to be aware of oh my god my legs have been my ankle my feet the joints that i pumped because i thought jogging was the answer running on a pavement hurting my ankle and then saying i have a bad knee i have a bad ankle i have a bad hip but who made them bad carelessness obesity too much of this not enough of that a lot of food no water a lot of work no rest a lot of no timeouts a lot of no meditation a not a lot of no appreciation for self a lot of thinking and believing not good enough that i am not beautiful my hands are this my neck is this my legs are this that i am not like the woman in the magazine all of these are what makes us wreck our body you will find a new purpose once you have been physically put yourself in physical prosperity you will find a new purpose and a new reason to say physically prosperous you will and that reason will be deep inside of you that reason will be you constantly saying i can do better i look better when i am not as heavy i feel better when i can walk i feel better when i've lost 20 pounds i feel better when I am not bloated, so I know what to eat. I feel better when I drink sufficient water. I feel better if I add a, a pinch of salt. I sleep better to the top of my tongue before I go to bed. I sleep better. If I drink some herbal tea, it makes me a little bit calmer before bed. You're going to watch that physical body of yours and you will not stop fixing it. The moment you see what you can do to it, you will not stop fixing it. You won't force others to be like you, but you are going to get people who are telling you, oh, what have you been doing? You look so good. And really, it would take a long time. And perhaps you, or maybe they, do not have the time to listen to your journey, to listen to the things you had to do to get to where you are today. Many people want what others have. They desire what you have. But many of us will not put in the work that you have put in to get to where you are. We, many of us do not have the stamina. We do not have the need. We are not persistent enough. We are not consistent enough. We haven't decided we are deserving of all of that. We cannot be bothered. And some people will say to you, I cannot be bothered doing what you're doing. People will say, oh, I love you. You always look so nice in dresses and slack. Your body is just this. Your arm looks like that. But they don't know sometimes you're lifting a five pound exercise ball for five minutes, three times a day. They don't know that. They don't know that you stop eating at 6 p.m. They don't know that physically you do not eat until 11 a.m. You have your water, your fruits before that. They don't know that you do not pile your plate this high. They do not know that you look at food in a different way to sustain you, but not to choke you. So many people will look at you and decide, they want to be like you. Many of us will do that. But many of us will not take the opportunity to do what we do to be who we are. The changes might be drastic for them. Or they might sometimes say to you, can you show me what to do? I can show you. Will you do it? So the changes might be drastic, yeah? Or they're sometimes slower. Sometimes they just show up by themselves because you've changed one or two little things in your attitude. Do you know that your attitude towards yourself alone can change 
how your body reacts? Do you know that? Do you know what you show gratitude and appreciation for will always give you back? So if when you're done, at the end of the day, you start from your head and you go to each limb and each joint as much as you can tell of the organs in your body and thank them, don't you think they would be grateful and give you more of the best? I think so. Or when you wake up in the morning, you take a few moments before galloping to pick up your phone or galloping to turn on the TV to see some more sad news. Take the time and thank your head for resting comfortably on the pillow. Thank your neck for being relaxed and can move from side to side. Thank your shoulders for not having any tightness in them. Thank your fingers for being nice and slim and not swollen and tight. Because they are doing that and you are feeling better. So show them some gratitude for being just there. You will notice your attitude will be different. You will be less judgmental of others. You won't care. You let them be. You won't tell somebody, you go and get to do this. You must do this to succeed. You will say, you know, that's what I did. Would you like to try that? And the person might say yes. And then you can teach. But besides that, you can't. And you can call them. And you can remind them. But you cannot drag them to you. I know this is different, but for all those years that I taught financial um, help to others for free, for years, hours and hours and hours and hours of it. And I always said, I will not call you if you have an appointment and you do not keep it. I will not remind you that you're supposed to have an appointment with me. I am giving you this for free. The least you can do is show up. So many people started the journey and it didn't end well for them because they couldn't keep up with the demands of realizing that they are worthy of a financial prosperity that is really worth it. The thing though is that those that went through the journey realizing that it is important for them to get to that point, years later, years later, are still enjoying the benefits of having gone through that journey with me. You guys all know Kathleen and you know Lisa. Kathleen started and she must have been about, I think, 20. So she did it for like, 18 years so far and she's still continuing she comes off every now and again and tell you she was on last week telling you what she does she's going to Edmonton on a vacation with her daughter and she kept it so your physical prosperity is the same thing you cannot get to the point I've lost the 20 pounds so I'm having pizza and I'm not only going to chew it with love and sensuality like we talked about on the Sunday show. I'm going to chew it like I'm, I'm the galloping gourmet, gram, 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 gram. It's all going to go into your belly, gram, 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 the same way. So when you reach where you are, that doesn't mean the journey is over. And that is in anything you're doing in life. When you have gotten your physical prosperity to where you want it, where you desire it to be, then the work begins to maintain it, to keep it. There is no cheat day. There is no day of binging. There is no day of saying, I deserve it. Because you are feeling better now. That should be compliment enough and satisfaction enough for you to just behave. So physical prosperity is important. You will feel it, you will understand it, you will hear it. This is why the pillars of prosperity are you, are being taught to you just for you. You who are here. You who is living tonight with a nice nugget, 
a black pearl or a red Canadian diamond. Whichever thing you got tonight was meant specifically for you, not for a hundred million of you. I come to just impress those values on one person every day. Like I said, 365 people's, uh, people a year get some a, a nugget from me or they get a pearl or they get a diamond. Mission accomplished. But I still have to try harder. I still have to continue to sort this out to make sure you are staying on track and you, you are getting your pillar of prosperity, all of them, all of them to be firing on all five cylinders. Sending you light and joy. Have an absolutely amazing Tuesday night. And do not forget, absolutely do not forget, tomorrow is a brand new day, a brand new month. We will have the morning blessings at 8 as usual. And at 12, a brand new series begins, September 1st. What intrigues you? That's the question. Get ready to join and participate and share your thoughts and share what intrigues you. So send in your light and joy. Have a wonderful and amazing evening. Thank you, each and every one of you, for joining me tonight. And I will 